Massive crowd today in Nairobi as Kenyans continue to protest against the government-sponsored finance bill where the government wants to tax citizens so that they can finance the budget deficit. But Kenyans are resisting it. They've taken over the parliament building. The police and the army have started using live bullets. One or two people have been confirmed to have been shot and some parts of the parliament building is currently on fire. So it doesn't seem like the government is backing down. Ruto that went to America the other day and they were saying America's biggest ally outside NATO. But how in the world are the police and the army using this kind of force, live ammunition on unarmed citizens simply protesting against finance bill which proposes to tax them, tax food like bread and other food items. Shooting using live bullets from within parliament. This is not the way to go. And now they are even threatening to sanction media houses reporting on the protests. And it seems that the internet has been caught in Kenya. Reducing access to the internet will prevent people from organizing for the protests. Kenyans have trooped out and mass, they have shown a lot of solidarity. In fact, it is reminiscent of what happened in Nigeria in 2020 during the NSARS protests, where millions of Nigerian youths trooped out a mass to protest against police brutality. That was in 2020. Today, Nigerians are facing much more than police brutality. There is increase in tax, the Naira has become nearly valueless, it has lost value to the tune of more than 300%. Nigerians are experiencing very high inflation from about 7% early last year to about 40% today. So there are a lot of reasons Nigerians should troop out and protest like Kenyans are doing in Nairobi today. But the question is, when will they do that so as to make the government understand what they are going through? Yeah. 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 Yeah.